Hi guys, my name is Probably. Welcome to another episode of Dallas Be a GM series. If you missed the last episode, we finally broke the curse. We advanced to the second round of the playoffs. We had a great team for many, many years now, but two years in a row we exited exited it in the first round and finally we are moving on and we are facing St. Louis Blues and uh, they look like a pretty tough team so we need to check them out uh, coaching options first thing we of course we will look at our lines like we always do really quickly yeah nothing really changing much well only changed this year Sherbak and Nylander are trading places on the first and second line. This is our defense and our goalie, of course, it's Marcus Dekel. And uh, who are we facing? Yes, yeah, St. Louis. So let's look at this team. I don't remember we facing them. And yeah, they, they have some depth. Uh, uh, Yashkin, it's uh, on the first line. By the way, he was born in the same town in Russia that I was born in. But he is playing in uh, for Czech, Re Czech Republic. It's a long story, but his parents are Russian. Uh, Jonas Schwartz and uh, Tommy Wrinkles. Well, it looks like their center core is kind of weak. Well, fourth and uh, third line is well, it's so-so. But 83 centers on your top six. It's it's not good. It's not good for them. Oshi looks like he's trailing off already. Tyreddy, uh, yeah, they. I think that they pretty tough defensively, but uh, offensively, I don't see too many forces in there. So offense, I like our offense much, much better. Defensively, yeah, this is why they are so good. Uh, Pedro Angela and Sharon Kirk on the first two ninety overall defensemen. That's that's just crazy. Baumister and Spurgeon. Another great pairing and Coburn and Vanelli. I like their defense much more than ours, so it's advantage to them. So we need to look at the goalies and it's Pavlik and Mrazik. Yeah, that's why they had such a good regular season. They have two good goalies and uh, Yeah, well, I of course we have advantage against any team even I think that uh, yeah, Dakel is the best goal in the league. Yeah, there is Sutherby, but well, his career is not going as well as uh, many hoped. So yeah, he's the best goal in the, in the NHL. So goalie-wise, we will always have advantage, and of course, we have better goalie than St. Louis. But yeah, their defense. I think that we will have some problems, you know, scoring goals on them. So we just uh, yeah, we need to start and see what what's how is our AHL team is doing. Yeah, they uh, looks like they, yeah, they are losing. Yeah, they two to one is the score in their series. But we will check it out if we will have time. Oh, another thing that I wanted to show you guys, and I want to show it to you every time now. Yeah, let's look at the player stats for St. Louis. It was just the first round, so I would much rather look at their regular season stats to see who was their main point producers, who scored uh, their goals, and you know, all that good stuff. Yeah, let's go to the St. Louis and see. St. Louis, Saint, yeah, St. Louis. So, if we saw it, yeah, Yashkin had a great season. Mm, Ty Reddy, 27 goal scored, uh, John Schwartz, so yeah, nobody really uh, had outstanding year except for Yashkin. Anderson, yeah, Anderson did a pretty nice job. Who is the Wingles? Mm, well, yeah, not uh, a first line center stats, to be honest. Oshi, so yeah, there, it's not like even, you see their uh, first line center has basically the same amount of points as their third line center, which is weird. And uh, defensively, yeah, of course, of course, they have some uh, production. Look at that. Sharon Kirk with a lot of assists, Petra Line. So, yes, de defense is somebody we need to be worried about. And Pavel, yeah, Pavel, decent. He, I think, he has the most starts in the NHL regular season. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty respectable. So, yeah. Yashkin and uh, Schwartz are the main offensive forces for them. Okay, we will keep that in mind. Not that it helps us or something, but it's nice to know. That's all I'm saying. 
Okay, okay, let's start. Of course, we have uh, home field advantage, so we need, as always, we need to start strong. So please. Oh, yeah, that's the kind of strong that I want. Oh man, everybody scored. Uh, Sherbak started it. Kuturia, nice, nice. Di Maio, oh, Faxa. Two goals from our uh, from our fourth line. That's that's some depth goal scoring. And I don't know what Pavlik is still doing in the net. Maybe they changed him uh, right after this goal. So come on, second period. Yeah, they they come they got back too, but well, three goals advantage going into the third. I feel pretty safe. So come on, and Kassin with his second goal, and of course, yeah, they took. Uh, Pavlik away and they should actually oh Anderson scored back whoa 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 Bonina scores so yeah it's no it's not like it's dangerous so Seguin scores what a offensive fest 11 goals scored it's it's just crazy <laughs> oh yeah good thing we won we started strong then well when you're winning five nothing it's it's hard to keep your concentration and to keep your goals out of your net, even for the goalie, you you feel too safe. So I I don't really worry about that. Yeah, we controlled the the game the whole time. We never got them close. So yeah, it's pretty, it's uh, all right. Yeah, Kassian with two goals, nice, nice. Oh, I think that we can keep it up offensively. Defensively, I think we did fine. It's these four goals, it's not what it looks like. So come on, can we continue this uh, great offensive performance? Come on, first period, yeah, 1-1, one, one. Taves and Schwartz. Schwartz scored right in the locker room, 20 seconds left. Oh, okay, second period, come on, oh, they overshooting us 18 to 6, it's crazy. So come on, we need to, we need to get back, come on. Oh, 2-2, two, two. okay, okay, Petrovic with a nice goal, yeah, 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 so it's still tie game, shots are, well, difference is not that big, but still, so come on, we need a strong third period, do not allow anything, yes, 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 Cassian, what are you doing, man, how many goals you can score, it's just crazy, and will it be, yes, 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 it was a tough win, we dominated in the third, you see, shots are almost equal, so it was a good third period from uh, our beloved uh, Dallas Stars and Zach Cassian, his third goal in two games. Yeah, he is having some sort of renaissance of his career. I, I think that he feels pretty bad about the way it all went. He was a young player, but he became a third liner on our team without any chances to get uh, higher. Yeah, yeah, the Kel. And now he's a fourth liner and he's not making that many money. And well, I'm happy that he embraces his new role and that he produces. It's it's just amazing. Okay, okay, we are at St. Louis, Missouri. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Missouri. So, so we need to. We need to continue this good streak, so come on, come on, first period. Oh, the wheel go Yashin, of course, of course he scores. Oh, they overshooting on us once again, they are angry, I'm sure. So come on, second period. Yes, yes, Ke Kassian. Four goals in three games, well, <laughs> that's, that's amazing, man. Oh, it's just great. Come on, we need another one. Kessian maybe? Power play? No, 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 no. Oh, it's a tough game. But we are overshooting them. We are dominating in the second half of games. Can we dominate in overtime, please? Yeah! Oh, I was, for a moment, I saw that it was Kessian, but still, it's fourth line. Faxa, thank you, thank you. And we are leading three to nothing, and we won two really, really tough games. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> great series so far. Fox with his second goal. Our fourth line is really, really producing, and I'm pretty sure that they are getting really, really low uh, ice time. So it's just great that they can do that. Oh, 
Let's look at that. Who is the th three stars? Yeah, Cassian. Uh, it was not his assist. The kill with a wonderful performance. We will not forget that. Points. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Faxa. Who scored? Uh, no, it's penalties. Faxa. Yeah, Sheehan assisted to Faxa. Okay. Oh, I, I think that I messed it up. Faxa is our third liner, not the fourth liner. Why I keep thinking that? Ah. Oh. Of course, he the, he's a third liner. Okay, great job. Great job, and we are leading 3 to nothing. How is our AHL team doing? Oh, yeah, they. they it's a game 7, I think. No, it's. A, oh, they won game 6? Yeah, it will be a game 7. Okay, okay. The same day that uh, we play. Oh yeah, that's not good. But well, it's it's not for long. So yeah, we just need to replace him with uh, somebody. Yes, Transky, you you can. Yes, yes, you can go up. I'm pretty sure that uh, he will back. He will be back by the time of the game. Yeah, I will even put uh, Stransky everywhere. Right wingers, yes, Transky. I don't want to. I can even give Stransky this chance. I can even play him there. Well, it might not be that great of an idea, but we have a good thing going, so we will think about it. Okay, penalty kill, no. Four and four lines. Stransky scored some big goals, so he deserved this this chance. I don't want to, you know, all the lines to mess them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go in in, in here as well. Not that it matters or something. Yeah, Stransky. Great job, great job. Okay. Huh. Oh, I think he will not be back by this game, so should we? Yeah, yeah, you know what? We can play with him in there. I think he deserves this chance. He scored some big goals in the for us uh, in our playoff run. I can't remember if it was a year ago or maybe more. So, okay, okay, it's a elimination game possibly. So we will be doing minute by minute simulation. Okay, okay, no, 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 no. We need to look at the goals only. Okay. Oh, and Nelson. He's their fourth line center, I believe. Okay, okay. Another go. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No goals yet. Power play. Can we score? No. Shots are equal. We need just one. One. Yes, Glady. Thank you. Thank you. Second line. And another one from Sheehan on the third line. Great job. Oh, we come back in this game. Can we hold and Petrovic? His second goal of this round. Oh, oh, Oshi. Oh, it's getting close. It's getting dangerous. And Cassian, of course. Of course, you always score. Oh, beautiful job. Beautiful job. We did what needed to be done. Oh, and we advance. We are top four. And this is at least well it's at least decent third round but I want to go deeper and yeah great performance uh, all around well first line not scored in this game or did no 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 it was second line and third line mostly and fourth yeah with the uh, tapes yeah I, I forgot I should have promoted Cassian to the first line he deserved that though finally Okay, okay. Let's look at the who is the three stars. Yeah, the Kel, of course, of course, we will never forget how amazing his performance is. And uh, yeah, DeMaio with two assists, so that's nice. Uh, Stransky, well, he did not make. Oh, six shots, but no goals. Okay, okay. Yeah, great performance. Great performance, everybody. And what is yeah, our our AHL team, Texas Stars, also advanced. That's a great job. They came back losing in the series. Well, looks like uh, stop simulation. 
Oh no no, it's uh, the this round in uh, yeah. I think that we will have uh, Sherbak back. Stop simulation. Yes, of course he's available to play, and yeah, we can we can just put him in there. Okay, Stransky, you go out. Thanks for you had your chance. And Sherbak goes in power play, of course. He's still not 100%, but well, it's a playoffs. Everybody needs to be on the ice who can hold the stick. Okay, okay. Great job. And we are facing Los Angeles. In, well, they are a tough team. I, oh, it will be an interesting, you know, to see. And it will be, if they still have uh, Jonathan Quick, it will be an interesting goalie, goaltender duo. The best goalie from the past and the best goalie of the current and the future. And, uh, yeah, let's look at the stats. Then we'll look at the playoff tree. And this will be it for this episode. NHL yeah I know who was my MVP of this round of course it was of course it was Zach Cassian on the fourth line he scored five goals and I don't think that uh, he had uh, some goals before maybe he had one I, I can't really remember so yeah he is the MVP he had some yeah, two game winning goals amazing just amazing performance Seguin with the uh, nice stats, Taves and Sherbak also nice, Sherbak with four goals. Uh, Glenny DiMaio, uh, who is their Nylander? Oh, Nylander? Yeah, Nylander is not uh, performing too well this postseason. Maybe he does not like playing on the second line, or maybe he's not clicking with uh, DiMaio and Glenny. Well, we will see, we will see. So, uh, yeah, this is our forwards. Defenseman Petrovic with two big goals, and I think it was. No, yeah, one, one was game winning. Great job, great job, Alex. And of course, Dakel, as always. Ericsson went. Oh, yeah, he had the start. Uh, we It was a mistake, so it does not really matter. And Dakel, yeah, amazing performance as always. Eight wins, one loss, two shutouts, almost 95 uh, percent save percentage. Just amazing. So yeah, everybody did a great job. It was a sweep of a St. Louis Blues, and we're ready to move on. This is the this is the East uh, Tampa Bay lost uh, to Buffalo and then Buffalo lost to Toronto and New Jersey and Boston uh, were playing in that round and Boston was better much better by the way and LA have beaten Minnesota yeah all those you see all those uh, second round uh, pairings they all were pretty easy 4-1 4-1 4-1 and 4-2 nothing so yeah looks like teams that uh, advance to this top four they deserve it and I think it will be interesting to see so I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, leave a like if you did it really helped me out uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new uh, follow me on Twitter and uh, I will see you in the next episode thanks for watching